checking out this video, can you do me a favor? Can you like, subscribe, and even leave a comment? That'd be great. Let's check it out. Hey guys, this is Jarena, follower of the way. And today we're going to talk a little bit about this um, Henderson, Keon Henderson. He is a pastor. He is uh, the one that recently married, I think two years ago, he married um, Shawnee. Shawnee was, Sha Shawnee is the ex-wife of Shaq, you know, Shaq, the basketball player. Shawnee also is, um, she's the founder of, I think, um, Basketball Wives reality show. So recently he was in the news because he rebuked some lady in church for screaming. Okay. Here's my question. This is my thing though. Since when does the false teacher rebuke the false worshiper? I, I, I don't understand that. I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm confused. I really am. Because my thing is this. Keon Henderson is a false teacher. There are several videos on his teaching that does not follow scripture. And what I'm tripping about is the nerve of him rebuking somebody else when he himself hands as dirty as I don't know what. Okay. So let's look at this. And what I, what I'm so kind of like, I don't know, a little worked up about is what these false settings, these false settings present themselves as Christians. And it's, it, it really, it makes Christianity look like it's something that it's not. Okay. This is not what Christianity is. It's, it's just not. So let's check this out and let's just examine. And what I want us to do is I want, to look, want us to look at the hypocrisy of it all. That's what I want us to do. So let's look at him and you probably already heard about him, but we're going to check out what he did and how disgraceful it actually was. So let's see. Okay, so while he's in the midst of uh, trying to sing, right? And then now you saw he just did the fake tongues, right? So this is already one of those settings where you would suspect somebody to be screaming out, supposedly screaming out in, in the spirit. You, you would suspect this would be happening at this setting. This is one of those classical Pentecostal settings because he just did the fake tongues. Okay. And like I said, he's also a false teacher. So let's look at what he's really mad about. Now, He's in the midst of doing his, his little so-called worship. You know, I, I would say <laughs> in the scriptures, how it talks about in the Old Testament about the bell worship. Okay. So he's in the midst of his bell worship and the spotlight is on him right now. He's doing his little, little tunes that he's doing. And you know what? She's interfering. She's taking the show from him. That's the problem. She's taking the show from him. And this is what he's upset about. Hey. Now, like I said, I've said this before. I said this about another video. There is a way to do things. There is a decently and in order way to do things. Remember, we're in a they're in a place where it's supposed to be where the Lord is being worshipped. The God of glory is being worshipped in this place. Okay, so right now, the way that He addressed this is still unacceptable, and it puts. Once again, it draws it still draws attention from the worshiping of God. This this whole setting does not display an actual true worship of God anyway. Okay, so the way he just moved just now, it brought attention on him and this lady. Once again, they are not worshiping God. Hush, hush. Silence in the name of Jesus. I lift. The snapping of the fingers at, at a late, at a grown person, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. He could have dealt with this in a, in a much better way than this. My hands. And remember, guys, even when we are correcting somebody, we need to be careful. And I've, I've seen this lately here on these social media streets. People so-called correcting people, but they do it in such a way where they're, they, they're sending themselves. 
They're correcting people out of their own flesh, out of their own fleshly desire and position. That is how they're so-called rebuking people and correcting people. The only voice I want heard is his. So here's the thing. When was the Lord's voice heard? We hear, let me tell you how we hear from God. We hear from God from on the pages of scripture. This is how we hear from him. I haven't heard them say nothing about the word of God. So what is he talking about? That's the thing. The voice that he wanted to be heard was his. That's what this was about. And then the arrogance of it all, the arrogance of it all. You just disrespected somebody and then you go back doing your little tune. Like you, the man, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go look at um, Keon Henderson provide an explanation for his behavior. Okay. That's what he did. He provided an explanation on the Tamron Hall show. So let's look at his explanation for his behavior. Let's see how that sounds. Mm -hmm. Social media, my cousin lives in Houston and Katie, she says, Pastor Keon is trending. I was like, what happened? Right. She said, go on the shade room. I said, the shade room? <laughs> Let me play this moment. Let's play it. Hey. Stop her. Hush, hush. So the backstory was there was a woman and you could. Did you see uh, Shawnee's face, his wife, his her, her face is looking, she doesn't, I don't, I don't think she's happy with this either. Hear her making audible sounds. You turn around, you say, that hush. Yes, ma'am. Well, Snapping of the fingers at, at a grown woman. Don't ma'am me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell people, a snippet of video is not the total story. Yeah. So tell me what happened there. Well, you know, social media is in to cuts, not context. Yeah. It's interesting that he says social media is into cuts, not context. But this is the main joker. This dude right here, he does not preach within context of scripture. Every video that I have even seen of his, which I haven't seen a whole entire sermon of his, but I saw enough to see that he does not teach within the context of scripture. He changes scripture to, to meet an agenda that he, that he has, but it's interesting how he, now he knows what it is to not stay within context. Isn't that interesting? It is the hypocrisy that nauseates me. Okay. Uh, and every suggestion that I got from every naysayer I've already done. This is a four year battle, right? Oh, this is ongoing. This is, on this is a four year battle. Okay. Keep that in, keep that in your, your back pocket, that this whole situation with this girl, this lady screaming out during service, this is a four year battle. Okay. I'm going. So I've already Literally. talked to her personally. I'd already had ushers go up to her. I've already had prayer warriors. I've had everything. So she did it publicly after being asked not to. What is she? Is she here's the thing. So here's my problem with this. This woman was, I believe she was on the praise team. She like she was one of the singers. So you mean to tell me you've been dealing with this from this lady for the past four years. You done did all these interventions for her to stop. But the one thing you didn't do was get her out of the praise team. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Why would you allow her to stay on the praise team for the past four years of, of dealing with, with this so-called behavior of which this behavior is classically done in the false churches anyway? That's the thing. See, I what it was was she disrupted his shine. That's what this is about. Cry is an emotional. Break. Well, you know, as a pastor, I know the difference between disturbance and worship. And what? Oh, you know the difference between disturbance and worship. I'm telling y'all, the disturbance was that she disturbed his shine. We can see the arrogance flagrantly displayed. That's what this is about. This is not about God. I don't care if anybody says, you know what? Anybody that gets upset at what I'm saying, I'm really not going to be concerned about that because I know from what I have assessed, making an assessment of this dude and his teaching, 
based upon the word of God, he's a false teacher. So anything he's saying right now, it's, it's, it's not washing. It's just not. And it's the, to me, it's just the hypocrisy of all of this. You you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. This is not about, he's trying to say that this is about God. This this is about her uh, interfering in the worship of God when he wasn't even worshiping God. That setting, they are not truly worshiping the God of the Bible because if they were, they will hold to the what's in this, in this word. But people have to understand what people have to understand is that every time you hear a noise in church, it isn't worship. And And every time you hear a preacher preaching in church, he's not preaching just like what he does. He doesn't preach the truth. And uh, so there has to be order. For instance, it's okay to applaud in this room right now. But if somebody got up and just started clapping right now, I'm sure somebody would bring order to the room. And so what I did is I brought to the room so people could hear God out here. So he pro- he brought order in the room so people can hear God and not her. But the only way we can hear from God is when he is revealed on the page of scripture. And what men of God do is they proclaim what the word of God says. That's how we get to hear from God. So see, this is what I'm saying. Everything that he's saying is trash. It just is. Her and I'll do it again if I needed to. He'd do it again if he needed to. Okay, so. I think I see full circle, Shawnee, what you were talking about, bringing culture in with church. That's, you are being, you know how many people would have. Now, somebody just mentioned something to me while I'm trying to record this. They said that um, he made a statement saying that he wanted to hear the voice of God. Remember, we just talked about that a little bit ago. He only wants to hear the voice of God, but yet he continued to sing. And yet I mentioned that earlier, that. If we first off, the only way we're going to hear the voice of God is as he's revealed on the pages of scripture. That's how we hear from him. But once again, like I said, this is about him. He's at the center. That's this is our problem. When we have ourself at the center, this is what it looks like. So I want people to walk away understanding something here. This is not just about him disrespecting this lady about him putting her on blast, about him snapping his fingers at her like she's a like she's a dog or something like that. This is not even only about that. This is about once again somebody proclaiming to rep the Lord, proclaiming to claim the things of God and really they have themselves at the center. This is the problem and this is what is absolutely ridiculous. This is the problem. So what I want to do is And I'm going to stop sharing here for a minute. I want to encourage all of us. Okay. I want, I want to encourage all of us on something like, for example, now the people that's in Keon Henderson's church, the people that goes to his church, they obviously, I guess, don't know that he's a false teacher. I want to explain something to you guys. If you're going somewhere and the preacher has themselves at the center, okay, they have themselves at at the center. The preacher always preaching about how to get money. They want you to get up, give all this money. And then they want to talk about how you you can be blessed if you give all this money. If that's the, if, if the preacher is the highlight of their preaching deal is about prosperity and making it in this life. And that's like the top thing that they always talk about. You are in a false setting. You understand that when they have these earthly goods at the center, you don't hear nothing about sin. You don't hear nothing about surrendering to the Lord. You don't hear anything about the person of Christ, the, the, the person the, of, of God, who he is, what he calls us, us calls from us or expects from us, or, you know, calling us to do and to be, you don't hear any, any much about that, but you hear about the prosperity of this life. Guess what? You're in a false setting. And Keon Henderson is a false teacher. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to get beyond how he shamed this woman. I want you to look at something that's greater than that. And he did shame this woman and it's very disrespectful. And if I was that lady, I wouldn't dare step foot again in that church. I wouldn't do it. I hope she doesn't. I really hope she doesn't. Here's my thing. Above and beyond him disrespecting this woman, this dude right here, He is not a man of God. He's not. Remember this. Take note. Write it down. 
This dude is not a man of God. He is not. He is to be avoided. Okay. Men like him are to be avoided. This is that arrogance. You see this? I hope you guys see the arrogance. This is that self-centeredness. This is that I got myself at the center. This is about me. This is why he was angry. The disruption that he's talking about, the disturbance was against him. That's what he's mad about. This has nothing to do with the Lord. All right, guys, remember that. Okay. All right. You know what? If you liked anything in this video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Okay. If you want to leave a comment, maybe you got something to say. Oh, no, Pastor Henderson is the stuff. He does it. Put it in the comment section. I can take it because I'm going to keep on saying what the truth is anyway. All right. And I feel bad for you if you're following him and if you're repping, if you if you capping for him, I feel bad for you. It's a shame. I'm, I, I do. It's a shame. OK, hopefully people will start to realize about these false teachers. Hopefully that's, that's the whole point of me doing this video that you would understand that this is not of the Lord. So let me ask this question. How does the false teacher rebuke the false worshiper? Where do they do that at? It's getting crazy out here, guys. All right. Be blessed. And I really appreciate you. Thanks again for stopping by. Be blessed.